Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to check WordPress error log from cPanel. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. First of all, you will have to log in into your cPanel account. Here we have used our demo account to show you how to log in into the cPanel account. Enter the username and password in their respective fields and click on the login button. Congratulations, you are successfully logged in into your cPanel account. Go to the Files section and click on the File Manager option. Once you click on it, one window will be open. Go to the public underscore HTML folder and click on it. Once you click on it, you will see all the files and folders located under public underscore HTML folder on the right side of the screen. Scroll down the screen and select wpconfig.php file. The wpconfig.php file is a WordPress configuration file that contains important WordPress settings. You should make a backup of your website before attempting this. This will ensure that if a mistake is made, you will be able to revert to the previous version of your website. Right click on it. Go the edit option and click on it. Once you click on it, one dialog box will be open. Click on the edit button. By clicking on the edit button, wp-config will be open. Go down to the line where wp underscore debug is defined. If it is not defined, you will have to add it manually. But here, it is defined so you don't need to add it manually. You can see the wp debug value is false. To enable the debugging mode, you just need to change it to true. Enabling this will result in all PHP errors, notices, and warnings to be displayed on the website. Go to the Save Changes button and click on it to save the changes. Once you click on it, the changes you have made will be saved and you will get a message success on bottom right side of the screen. Now open your preferred browser and search your website. Here we have used Mozilla Firefox browser. Go to the address bar and type your website and press enter. Here, we have entered demo vps test.com as a demo. You can see that you are able to see the error message on the screen. The downside of using this debugging alone is that you will see WordPress errors and warnings inside your admin area as well as front page of your website. If you want to send a log file to someone who can check and fix the error or to your hosting service support team, you have to add the following line just below the WP underscore debug line. Let's see it live. If you want to send all errors to a file, then you will need to add the following line just below the WP underscore debug line. Go to the Save Changes button and click on it to save the changes. Once you click on it, the changes you have made will be saved and you will get a message success on bottom right side of the screen. Go into WordPress site and simply repeat the operation or refresh the page that isn't working properly. Now, the errors will get logged to the debug.log file within your WP content folder. Let's see where it is located. Go to the public underscore HTML folder. After that click on the WP content folder. You will see the debug log file on the right side of the screen. Please be informed that you will not see this file if you have not encountered any errors. It only appears when something is written inside of it. To open this log file, right click on it and select the edit option. Again click on the edit button to open it. 
Once you click on it, you can see the file is open. This file will contain all WordPress errors, warnings and notices that were logged. Go to the bottom and look for line entries with timestamps that correspond to your recent site interactions. You may see 0, 1, or many lines with the appropriate timestamp. If you want to restrict the errors that appear in the website, you will have to add the following line just below the WP underscore debug line. Let's see it live. If you want to hide the errors that appear in the website, you will have to add the following line just below the WP underscore debug line. Go to the Save Changes button and click on it to save the changes. Once you click on it, the changes you have made will be saved and you will get a message success on bottom right side of the screen. Go into WordPress site and simply repeat the operation or refresh the page that isn't working properly. Now you won't see the error message on the screen. Important note. Once you fix the error of your websites, please disable debug mode. To disable the debug mode, edit the WP config file and change the debug mode value from true to false and save the file. Once you save the file, you will be back to normal. That's all. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We seen. How to check WordPress error log from cPanel. Hope. This video will be helpful for you. If you like this video, please click on the thumb button. Please click on the subscribe button if you want to view such easy to understand technical videos published by AccuWebHosting.com. Thank you for watching.